business like a fine wine. Got a tuck, better duck when I find mine. In Belize, blowing trees, trying to find shine. Bad boy, should have signed back in 99. Yeah, you know when that is prime time. Must be the money, got him talking like he prime time. Fine line, big boy, saying we the ox. Outcast, now he's playing. Fuck you, stupid. <laughs> 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 All right, what better, what better way, what better way to start? We're back, my popular demand. Ooh, 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 Me and you, duo. <laughs> the duo. The duo. Hey man, we're back again. Um, episode two of season two. Two of uh, disturbingly random. Yep. Um, this is Miss Cookie Graham. I'm Ro, and this ain't DJ. Nope. Um, she still up. So, um, yeah, you know. Um, we tried. We tried. To see if she, you know. At this point, we're going to call her a guest from last week and not an addition to the show. Oh, okay. Until she show up again. When she show up again, we start calling her an addition to the show. As of now, she's a guest. Okay. We just had a guest on our first show. Okay. All she right. A guest. Get your shit together. All right. You um, already know he's going to call you out, so. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You can show up late, and I still tell you to get your shit together. Cause you still you gotta get your shit together on that in that thing at that point. Right now, get your shit together because you ain't show up. Mm. Well, you always tell me to get my shit together, so I ain't nothing. Hand my mouth. Um, what? Hand my mouth just now. Hand my mouth. Why would I be? I have no idea. I have no damn idea. We gonna do a shot though. Um, shot, shot, shot. And hey, we had a good show shot. last week. Yeah, have fun. That was, that was a damn good show though. You know what I'm saying? Kind of makes me mad that she um. That she ain't here right now. Yeah, because yeah, we can continue on yeah. and follow through. So we had a good good show last week. A lot of um, a lot of uh, good feedback from a lot of friends and a lot of fo um, followers and listeners and everything. Not a lot, not like everybody else got and anything where they got like the the twenty thousands and the two hundred thousands. I ain't but, got that many followers. So yeah, just for starters. And then, you know I mean, it was good for you know what I'm saying the the small. I said that I don't really give a damn about supporters and friends and stuff like that. But it was the people who we do know who did give us. Well, I give a damn. damn. Fuck them. No, 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 no. Mm. You don't say that because you want them to watch us. So what would you say? Fuck them. I don't say that. Watch us. I love you. Support me. Fuck him. Fuck me. Um, because but I give just I, because fuck I him. Give, still give, watch I, us though. I'm giving. Because I'm on it. I'm giving so much earlier that I deserve what I get. No. What don't you go mean? like that. All of the support I get now and everything, I deserve it. But support her. Follow her. Listen yes. to her. Watch this for her. All right? Me? Um, fuck me. I'm good. Um, but, um... You're an asshole. No, that's, that's how she goes. Hey, but, um, yo, we back. Nathan, another episode. Nathan, we got some, some shit some shit to pop, some shit to talk about. It's um, usual. A lot of, lot of good things. Take your shot, man. Stop punching these people. Well, you ain't giving. You, you gonna drink it this week? Or you gonna don't, do that. It don't do that. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. See, you real disrespectful. You starting your bullshit already. All right, don't man. do that. This is all right. to this to season. do all back again. I'm back again. I need to chase after that here. Yeah, I think you do too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna take this, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. I right. swallowed it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. That's a relationship. Good job. You an asshole. <laughs> hey, um, mm -mm. I got some stuff to talk about this week, Nathan. In regards to like myself, uh, how you feeling anyway? Um, good. No hot flashes yet. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so, did we ever solve the issue of the hot girl summer? Hot we flash did. summer. <laughs> so, for you, it's a hot flash summer. But the hot girl summer was what? Is is what? It's about with the woman. Uh, I don't know. A woman acting a fool up in the streets. Being okay, thotty, yeah. Thotty. That's what you said. That's what I said. So they got this thing, and they, I'm gonna lead off with this. They had a thing called Black Girl Bikini Beach down in Atlantic City. In Atlantic City? Yeah, it was, it was at a beach called the Chicken Bone Chicken Chicken Bone Beach. I ain't never heard of that. Chicken Bone Beach, Chicken Bone, yeah, something like that. Is that so, a real beach? Just a real thing. It's a real thing. Was it thing. New Beach? No, it ain't new. It ain't new. Uh, it's in Jersey. But black, what is it called? Black Girl Bikini Beach. Is it with black girls? I hope so. And they had the, they let black girls have a bikini beach in Atlanta City? Yeah, I should have went. Um, I yeah, we should have. No, nah, I couldn't go in the bikini. Black Girl Bikini Beach. We, oh, why couldn't I get the high rise um, bikini? I don't know. 
Oh, they got the that. two piece, the one like huh? the tank top and then the high rise thing. I just know some crazy pictures and videos out there probably. But listen, they say it was no men, no dudes was allowed or nothing like that. So it was just women out there just in the pool. Do you think white girls was out there? Yeah, because they think they black sometimes. You think like, but what's the what's the prerequisite for a white girl to go down to Black Bikini Beach? Do she you, gotta have a friend. She, she gotta have a black friend. Damn. She's just not gonna go there. And I'm like, well, who you know? I was gonna say she needs to have a black girl body. You said she needs to have a friend. All right, I'll go with that then. Let's go with the friend thing. But yeah, that that popped off this weekend. I didn't know that. Damn. Yep. Black Why girl. you ain't tell me? I just heard about it throughout the, in the middle of the week. I should have told you right. Yeah. Joe Button had his birthday. Uh, I, I mean, his birthday. His uh, pool his pool party. party I wanted house. to go to that. Yeah, and at the and last. Don't be telling me nothing. Last minute. Yeah, that would have been a lie. It was, I saw him. He was a. Uh, he was on Instagram Live. And he was recording it, beefing with Drake. It was funny as hell. Um, it was funny, not beefing hard, real beef, but they was just you know having fun beef, talking shit. But uh, that, that would have been dope. interesting. That's See, dope. I can't be going to these parties because I ain't got the body that they be wanting the girls to come in here with. Like, um, what was Fifty Cent? Fifty with the camera. When you got a camera, you don't gotta have a body. <laughs> Just oh, go to well now I know. That's, that's the game. Like Tycoon, yeah, 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 Fifty Cent. Could you imagine yeah, yeah. me over there? You go, you go to, you go to camera, and you like, yo, I'm getting footage. No, but they can they? Would they allow you to go in there with a camera? Yeah, you tell me you're getting footage. You getting footage for um, Steel Magazine. You're getting footage for disturbingly random. So podcast. why you don't let me do that so I can just do both? You can. But you don't tell me. So how I'm gonna do it? All right, don't start telling me, and then you can do it. Yeah. All right. And you gotta write down the question what you want me to ask, because you know I ask my own question. You like that's oh good. That's God. that's that's the best way. Ask your own stuff. Yo, speaking of Joe Budden, um, did you see he was beefing with um, he had a little thing with Sway Lee, and they think what he said. Sway I was Lee. busy this weekend, so I ain't catch up with him. Oh yeah, you was in Virginia. And mm-hmm. I ain't had no reception at all. Did he have no reception in Virginia? My fucking phone did not work at all. Let me tell you something. It was so bad that I was trying to leave my mother house to get to my aunt house, right? Mm-hmm. And my GPS lost signal. So you was lost in Virginia. In the dark. And they don't have street lights. You ever seen the Public Enemy video um, when back in the days with Flavor Flav and they got pulled over by the cops anything and on 95 and you know the cops you know, talking about shooting them and all of that? You know, you ain't see that? I gotta watch that. Yeah, you gotta watch that. It's an old school video. But you I was just scared of the deers. Oh, the deers. I'm scared of the cops. No, I wasn't scared of the cops. I was scared of the deers. I had to have my high beams on. That's how dark it was out there. Seriously. And I was like, oof. I can live down there. You would never move to Virginia. Mm-mm. Hell no. Why? It's too slow. I'm a fa- I'm a city girl. Oh, you're a city. Oh, like that, like oh, that. Right? You're a city girl. I, no, 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 no. I don't know what's the name definition of a city girl. I'm talking about. I live in the city. <laughs> I'm used to street lights. Okay. I'm used to having stores by me, okay. right down and houses next to each other down there. It's like this one house. Keep driving. Keep driving. Keep driving. Oh, then there's another house. Okay, I thought like that's my type. That sh- that joint was like, oh no, that's what's that? Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. That yeah. y'all gotta talk to your kid. I gotta talk to your kid. I talk to your daughter about it, then, man. Cause yo, you don't even know the songs. How you know if I don't know the song? That's one of the I don't know. You in the um, award show? I don't know. I know that's my no, that's not her. She's talking about Blizzo. Oh. Anyway, I've been drinking Henny White right, Henny, and I just came back, so mm. I'm tired. Don't <laughs> do that. Yeah, uh, anyway, Joe was Joe was beefing with Joe was beefing with uh, Sway Lee and uh, about he said the Sway Lee and Drake song was whack. I think that's the one um, Russell Simmons' daughter like. Sway Lee. Mm-hmm. Ming Lee. I don't know. Cause mm-hmm. it, her, her sister went on went off on like don't come at her sister. Ming Lee, Sway Lee, who knows? Sounds right. Oh shit, hey, Ming Lee, Sway Lee. Hey, um. Oh, that rhymes. No, it don't rhyme. It just sounds like they need. They got the same Mainly, last name. Mainly, Sway Lee. Sway Lee. It's just the same last name. Oh. Crazy ass. <laughs> it rhymes. It rhymes. Okay. Hey, did you know... Do you do um, online dating? You do that? No. I I did it one time, right? What did you do? Who did you use? Who'd Listen. You no, I did it. I did it. My best friend. Mm-hmm. She told me to do it. Jackie said, try it. I'll do it. I said, okay. Who did you attend no, plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. Okay, go. I did it. She helped me set it up. Yeah, they got online booty call. The call for some ass? That's what's called. Online booty call. But go, go ahead. I don't want that shit. So I did it. She set it up. What did you think you was going to get on plenty of fish? You was doing on plenty of fish? It's the same thing. See, go. All right, go. 
And you want me to tell a story and I saw Tell a story. Bro. We did. Po he said he want to have a good time, but he was fishing. I said, I'm like your little sister. We, You watched yeah, me grow up with your sister. It's different. It's like, look, you know what that's like? That's like, yo. He didn't know it was me because I ain't had pictures yet. Oh, okay. But if he, if he saw a picture, he still would have said the same thing. It's like catching his sister's friend in another room in the house while his sister's in the bathroom or sleep. Yeah, like, yo, so what's good? No, he ain't gonna tell the person. But that's, but that's what it's like. No, he ain't gonna tell the person. He know I ain't, I, his, that's not even my type. He ain't that type of person. Yo, but did you know that online, like, uh, $143 billion, wait, wait, let me see, $143 billion lost in online so romance scams. So why we can't set up uh, scams? Yeah. Oh, so they be lying. No, it's $143 million. $143 million is lost, got lost in online romance scams in America. But a lot of people say they find their husbands online. But a lot of people be getting scammed out of money. I ain't trying. I ain't got no money to be scammed out of, so that ain't gonna work for me. I want to do speed dating. We said this before. I know you want to do speed dating. So why we? Oh, why? Because you want to get rid of the person fast. It might. I might want to. He might want to get rid of me fast. Ain't that ain't that where you at right now? Speed dating. <laughs> yeah. Ain't well, that, who? I mean, whoever you was, was with last time you was with somebody. Ain't uh, that wasn't that a speed date? You're a jerk. <laughs> you're a fucking speed date. same shit. <laughs> you're a jerk. Real jerk. No, hell no. Speed dating. You get drink and eat and talk and, and then keep moving to 15, the next one. But 15 minutes? You have, like, well, how many minutes? Two minutes? Three minutes? I don't know. Well, no, not 15. No, I don't short. care. That's good. Because you might say something. I, let me tell you. First, I got a short what, attention span. Where do, you, where do you think is the best place to meet him in, in real life? Later for that, later for online, later for anything. What do you think is the best place? I would have said church, but not church no more, so mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I know. Either the supermarket or the laundromat. And tell me why. Supermarket because they buy food. Mm -hmm. A laundromat because they're washing their clothes. And that means that he definitely eats or he definitely keeps his clothes clean. Yeah. What you think? Home Depot. Why? Why would you not want a guy in Home Depot? He could be just getting something for somebody else. What you think? He building houses? He ain't gotta got just be building houses, but he's handy. Well, I ain't seen too many cute ones at Home Depot. Ain't gotta be cute. Later for cute. Listen. I ain't seen gotta nothing. Stop thinking no, like, no, no. Cute. When y'all get a certain age, y'all gotta stop thinking about cute. So let me ask you something. So you got well, a lot. Where would, got, would, where, would you where want an ugly woman to lay with every night? Want me to tell you where the best place for no, a guy to meet No, answer the question. Way? No, but want me, All right, say, then. want me to tell you where the best place what? for a guy to meet a woman at? Home Depot. Because she's going to get a key? No, because she's handy. Oh, I'm not handy, <laughs> so you'll never see me. You know I want to get keys. Yo, later you want to get listen, later uh, for, uh, a light bulb. Listen, later for, later for either, either she's handy or she's willing to keep things in, intact in the house. So now you're going to make me try to go to Home Depot and make it seem like I'm handy? No, you go there. Go get some light bulbs. I'm going to the Dollar Tree to get them. Just don't. Go to the Home Depot and get your light bulb. Maybe that's why they don't last long. Yeah, exactly. You get like you get like a four weeks, three weeks out of light bulbs. I need you the energy it. save one. Go to Home Depot. You'll catch a light bulbs and a dude. A good handy guy. Uh, so he going to come put my light bulbs up? You can tell him that too. Come, he can fix your pipes. I don't want nobody to know what... He can fix your plumbing. <laughs> You're a joke. <laughs> my place not clogged yet. <laughs> I don't want him to know where I live at. Because then he might think he can always come over and so, I don't want to. So, so hold on. So, back, back to like the online dating thing. So, when people online, when people do online dating, even, so should they stay online or should they come offline and then they start living a regular life? I guess after they, they always... meet one person, they start dating, then don't they come off for a minute and then. So, do they post all of the status, everything that's going on with that relationship online at that point? Uh, you asking fish. me? I don't know. I don't do online dating. I don't. I don't. I'm not, so, I don't know. Theoretically, so let's say. Well, you tell me. So let's say if they was on, if they if they meet on Plenty of Fish, mm -hmm. do they supposed to start posting the status of that relationship on Instagram and Facebook at the, after they get together? No, I'm talking about they post it on Should Instagram. They? You think that's cool? To let you see how everything works. Well, that'd be cute. That's dope. Mm -hmm. You meet somebody online. Mm -hmm. And then you had them follow your steps to see if it's really like mm -hmm. how everybody was saying they got married that's online. That's a failed relationship. Well, then, oh, mine's a failed. That's a, that's a failed relationship. Wow. But this is why. This is no, why. Answer the question why. I'm going to tell you. This is why the majority of relationships be failed. Because people don't know how to keep their private life private. Once you get off of that plenty of fish thing or whatever like that, I, I'm not even going to knock nobody for how they beat somebody. I'm just going to knock them for how they think they're going to sustain that relationship. After I don't that. like nobody being my business, my exactly. personal business. Exactly, that's like my people. point. 
So it's like, nice. once you got the person, it's like, stop right posting now. pictures of the person and stop posting everything that y'all do. What? Maybe the person's private. They don't really want people to Yeah, know a lot of people are private. You know what I mean? So it's like... Because then they might say, oh, I know him. But then... But oh, then, I know her. But you know what But what, what people always always accused of? They're always accused of, you're not being private, you're being secret. Uh, yeah, I heard that. And they think, so it's like, why can't the person be private? And they think, why can't they be private without being called secret? It's like, so maybe they don't want they, everybody in their business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They say when you keep it to yourself, it lasts longer. It definitely lasts longer. It definitely lasts longer. I've seen people do that. I've seen people they who run their mouth about their relationships and they fall apart and anything. And then, you know, it's like I've seen people who you don't even know nothing about what's going on. And then they're going to dick you out and put it up. And then they're going to dick you out. And then they're going to dick you out. You know what? They're going to end up having the pussy you out. I would do something like that, but I think they got somebody did it. I think somebody started doing it. And they think, I mean, pussy you Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I don't even think dudes care. Dudes don't even care if it's whack. They still go in it. They don't care. Like chicks, like it don't really hurt chicks feelings when the dudes say it's whack. It only hurts chicks when the dudes say like a stink. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so there's only two things you can really say. <laughs> and that's when it, so when, so what makes it, what hurts the man feeling? When they say when he's they small? Say, when he says little, he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, that's, that's what they really hurt got. I mean, well, I, 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 I wouldn't I, care. I wouldn't really care. So I, I had, yeah, I'd be laughing. Uh, be I, I was dealing with somebody. I, I think I said that before, right? Mm hmm Okay. I ain't mm -hmm. got to be talking about it. Yeah. They got to go back and watch it. Yeah, they go yeah, go back to that last one. She, she kind of, yeah, you talked about it. <laughs> Why you was with him. You said, what? No, hold up. Back up. Wait, say it with a what? <laughs> oh, then I talk about that. No, nah, you didn't say this. Oh, yeah. I was messing with one. And whew, he pissed me off. And a pump. Go to the pump. Let me hear the pump. The pump, pump when you make it, yeah. pump it up to try to make he it. He did that? I don't know. I said it to him. He pissed me off and like, it was over what I saw. Oh, you there. bought him a pump and sent it to him? Mm -hmm. Yo, <laughs> the only reason I know about the pump is because I used to I used to do um, male review shows. I didn't do them. I used to like, like put you them together. Male what was no, your name? No, no, no. Listen, listen. <laughs> Shut up. I used to like like put the mail review show together and they right. Oh, so, like when back in the day at Club Cayenne and all of them in Irvington? And all the peppermints and all of that, like that, right? Of your Did you used to do that? I used to do them all. <laughs> yeah, what went, the hell was you doing? Why went, why wasn't you doing the women's shows? Why was you doing the men's shows? You know, money in the women's shows. It was the money as in the women as in the men's shows. You have the men the male strippers, I had male strippers from Philly, Jersey, New York would come and they and they like dance, whatever. Well, how did you get them? Did you I'm went, uh -huh. I had one girl who I was, you know, half ass partners with. She um she would she knew a lot of she knew like two or three strippers or whatever like that at the point at that time. And then she they knew other strippers or whatever and they all and they they spread the word. Time, yeah. So I would be like, yo, I put five on the flyer, five guys on the flyer who gonna dance. And the other guys they come in and they could tip out and anything, but I would pay the other guys like short money. A couple of dollars, like hundred dollars, hundred and twenty five dollars. That's it. That's it. Because they're gonna make, they gonna make the tips. tips. Right? But I would give them the one twenty five for showing up and anything. Everybody else, they just tip out on their own. But I would only allow five of them. Others on top of that. If it got crazy five that main. night, mm -hmm. five main and then five tap on top of those. If it got crazy, I let another five go on. Because it was guys like, yo, let me dance, let me dance. Yo, let me dance. It got crazy because I started seeing guys, like the dressing room. It was like one you big thing right there. I went in there to say, yo, y'all got to get ready to go on. This, you know, got to start the show. Mad women out there. Like 200, 300 women. Yeah, so, I probably was in the Hey, yo, uh, and let me tell you. And I, I seen dudes doing some stuff. Yeah, because they had to, t they put something around it to make nah, it. Nah, I seen dudes with the pump, and then they pass it to another guy, and he used the they same pump. It off. I seen it. I seen, they be, how you stand in front of a dude and be like, you know what I'm saying, with your joint and everything, talking to him, and everything in front of another dude. And that's when I started realizing that these dudes, they don't just like the chicks who they going out there to dance with. And they then I started like, yo, you know what, I'm done with this. I can't do this no more. I did it for a while. I did a couple of shows. Uh, how many shows? Yeah, I did a lot of shows. A, a year? Nah. I'll say yeah. I'll say and then yeah. you tapped out. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I, do, you know, I, I had a dude, a dude cry to me. A dude cried to me and everything because he wanted to dance. And I told him he can't dance. He started crying. Why you and told I was me he can't like, dance? Yes. I said, cause I was like, yo, you can't go on no more. He went on. Why? And he only made seventy five dollars tips while he was out there. So he's like, yo, can I go back on? I said, nah. I said, you can't. He said, yo, please let me go back on. He's crying. So I was like, yo, don't worry. I was like, yo, I said, I said, I got something for you. I got him on Jenny Jones show. Jenny Jones show was still you serious? Yeah, I got on Jenny Jones show. And they, you know, I said she gave him four hundred dollars. 
to come on and dance? No, just kind of he went on a on, on a panel, it's a little fake panel, but he went on a Jimmy Jones show. I forgot. But yeah, um, yeah, that's funny shit. Um, Can I ask you a question? What? What's the difference between a porn star and a stripper? Porn stars have sex. Strippers, they just take their clothes off. They don't have sex. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? I mean, they do afterwards, but I'm just saying what they getting paid for, like primarily, is to be on that stage stripping. What they do afterwards, after hours, is they think. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Porn star. No, I mean, you, you can be a stripper and then become a porn star afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean, when the strip club closes, <laughs> and they think it's just the camera shouldn't be on. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, I got you. I just wanted to clarify and make sure I understood the difference. <laughs> Let me ask you something. This is some funny shit. Yo, no, as a matter of fact, chicken sandwiches. Let's do chicken sandwiches. <laughs> First of all, Popeyes and ran out. Popeyes ran out of chicken sandwiches? Yes. So they doing it. They the chicken sandwich king then. Me and my daughter went. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Did they run out today? I didn't go today. Alright, so go ahead. Wait. Because if it was no, today, wait. it was wait, wait, wait. closed. No, but wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I was in Virginia and they ran out. Oh, wow. I went to four and they ran out. So I need to find out what's the hype about because I had Chick-fil-A last night and it was good. Chick-fil-A is dope. But you know what? And Chick-fil-A, you can get the cheese on it. Popeye's got a crunchier chicken sandwich, I think. That's what it is. Crispy. And then you get, mm -hmm. but theirs come with pickles and mayonnaise or mayonnaise and hot. She told me it's mayonnaise for original. A classic, mm -hmm. and there's a spicy mayo for the spicy chicken. Okay. So which one? Oh, uh, no, which one? not spicy. Oh, okay. So, I'll do original. But so which one did you like? I didn't try it yet. I just told you they oh, fucking they ran, ran out. out. Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta buy each one and yeah. cut it and see. You know, we should do that next week. We should do that. Chick Fil A. But then that means Chick Fil A is closed on Sunday. That means I had to get it Saturday and heat it up. Before, yeah. Well, we'll do a show on Saturday. Yeah, and, and we're gonna cut it in half. We have one sandwich of each, cut it in half. I'm sitting here thinking. I'm sitting here thinking because I know what Popeye's chicken tastes like. And I know what Chick-fil-A sandwiches taste like. That might be something with the pickle and the, the man. I don't know. But people go crazy like over that shit. Hey, oh, we got to try it. But you know Chick-fil-A talking about doing chicken, like whole chicken, buckets of chicken now, too. Well, Popeye said well, stay in the lane. Well, Popeye well said, Popeye, Popeye done stepped out their lane. That's what they said. Popeye said, you know. So now it's going to be competition with them. Real, so real. now what, what KFC going to do now? KFC so quiet. No, but you know what? KFC was killing the industry back in the day with the chicken little sandwich. They did. They was. They, they should have. They should have stuck. Now they, they chicken little what, sandwiches is stupid. They ain't Kennedy, never chicken What strip. Kennedy fried on into a New York fried chicken? Well, what the chicken shack gonna do that? They, they just shut the hell up. They just got to get that out of the way. <laughs> I think the Shake Shack started this whole shit anyway. <laughs> Who started this battle against Popeyes Shake Shack. and Chick Fil A? Shake Shack. Shake Shack. I think they came up with the chicken sandwich. I think they started. Mm -hmm. it. So now we gotta try the, the we gotta try the chicken sandwich and then you gotta try the monster. Damn, yeah, we gotta do the monster. I forgot about that. Is that age limit for masturbation? I think they start when they're teenagers. No, to stop. Should, huh. you, should you stop the, when you say, yo? No, girl, I'm like 30. women I'm masturbate. Like, at what age do they stop? <laughs> too old for this shit. Mm, I don't you, you, you too old for this shit. So, what do you think the age limit is? I don't know. <laughs> He's a jerk. <laughs> He's an idiot. I don't know. I'm Yo, I hate that I ask questions because then I got a picture. Yo. Well, then don't, don't ask me then. All right. Are you going to miss our line? No, no, no. We good. We good. Okay. Now you visualize like, oh my so, God. This... Yeah, so, so. <laughs> no age limit? No age limit? No. Just go. Yep. As long as you, as long as you buy it, even when you buy yourself, it's just. <laughs> Why well, I write this stuff down? You should ask if you don't want me to answer. Oh man! I'm gonna start lying now. All right, who beefs more, when, men or women? Who what? Who beef more? Like who beefs more with each other? Do women be doing? Are women like more catty with each other, or are men more? You know what I'm saying? More back and forth and catty with each other. I think women are catty, men are petty. You think men are petty? Mm-hmm. You petty. I'm petty? Hell yeah, you can be petty. Oh, you be petty with me a lot. No, nah, I'm saying with, with other men. Oh. Uh, I ain't... No, you just don't give a fuck, so I can't even put you in that category. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And it's a different, you don't give a fuck and you got some men that's petty. You don't give a fuck, don't give a fuck, don't give a fuck. F-U-C-K, fuck, you don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. You just said it. Yeah. You said, yeah. don't follow me, I don't give a fuck. You know what, because, I don't know, um, I've, I've built myself to not need nothing. From I need, I need that kind of, I need that in my life. Like, sometimes I do have confidence problems. You know what it is? I'm gonna tell you. Once you once you get to the point where you start realizing, like, yo, you don't need nothing from from certain people because um, you can't really rely on them, and you find that small circle of people who you can rely on, and you start saying, like, yo, you know what? I really don't give a fuck about you. I don't care. And but I, you know what? I gotta learn to separate not caring what people say. Mm-hmm. I'll be caring like if somebody say something, I I I take it to heart, and then my feelings get hurt, and I'd be like. Why? But I don't understand. And I say, I feel like that. But you, you, you don't even give a fuck. Well, that, that leads me to this. That leads me to this. I realized this about myself. And I hear, here's a, some reckoning. Some, mm, some, some I don't want to hear this bullshit right here. Some reckoning. Not for real. This real shit. Um, what? I realized that you probably say, like, I'm hard on you. right? I'm oh, hard, you do. I'm hard on people. People don't even know. People but, don't even know. And people I realized this. I know. thought about this the other day. I said, yo, you know what? I said, I think that I'm hard on people. It's the way you... It's your deliverance. Fuck my deliverance. See? <laughs> but listen, not for real. No, I'm hard on people, like, because... And I said this before in, in early episodes on last season. I'm very preventive. in the right? So with me trying to be preventive or preventative towards things that try to keep things from happening in the right? I... I kind of cut you off quick, and they, and it's, I come at people who I care about hard, so I cut them off quick, and they think so that I don't ever have to hear them say the things that make me feel like they can't handle what's, what's on their plate. And instead of just saying like, "Yo, let me know what's on your plate, so we can handle it." Not interpret that because I understand you know what, I mean? what you just said. So, so what I'm saying is, exactly. instead of like, if you tell me, like, "Yo, um, um, I got issues with my shoes." Like, before you said, I'm like, nah, you ain't got issues with your shoes. Just get new shoes. And you'd be like, dad, why you gotta come at me so hard? Instead of instead of me letting you, allowing you to tell me everything that's wrong with the shoes. Yeah, because I so can't I have issue shoes. with my shoes because I might not have money to get new shoes and you're gonna tell me to get right, new shoes. Right, So me. Right, so, right, right. <laughs> so me, instead, I come hard at people who I care about and be like this, yo, I cut them off. And be like, I don't want to hear the problem. Let's fix the problem. And they, they but you, how you going to fix it if you're not letting them explain? Well, you? I'm, I'm telling you what I, why I do it. Okay, I'm, so now... I'm break this down to you. Okay. <laughs> right? I'm trying to explain this to you. You know what I mean? I know. I know now. And they think because I started examining a lot of things. Like with me, like like I said, I'm very preventive. Preventative in anything when it comes to things. Is that preventive or preventative? Somebody tell you me. Don't ask me. But I you know my I'm words. Not asking you. Don't do that. See? Definitely not asking but you. Why would you say that? Because you, we still wanted about instinctual. We still run, wondering about that word already from last week. Oh, I said, where that come from? From last week. Um, right, DJ? Oh, oh, she ain't here. She ain't here. <laughs> oh, oh, she's not here. That's what she did last oh, week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, DJ? But, um, Sorry. But, yeah, so I learned that about myself and anything, but um, preventative or preventative, whatever. I miss it. Whichever word and anything. But, um, yeah, so I learned that. So I, um, that's my. So what you doing about it? I allow, I allow people to talk. I allow people to tell me what it is so that we can figure out what the problem is or how to fix the problem after they tell me what the problem is instead of cutting them off and saying, like, yo, um, I don't want to hear what you got to say. And I don't even say those words. I'm just like, I just be like, yo, um, yeah, don't nobody want to hear that. Don't nobody want to hear that. And they, I just fix the problem. You know what I'm saying? Let's just fix it. You know what I mean? You say you got this problem. Let's just fix it. I don't want to hear about none of that nonsense and that bullshit. So you being a little so more now, compassionate? Stop saying that. They're trying to make me soft. I'm not compassionate. Damn, you gotta always be hard like a cookie. See? You see? You see? I ain't hard though. Nah, but you I'm know what I mean? I'm so, a soft batch cookie. So, so, so <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you soft. So, yeah. it's like, Don't say that's what I learned. That's what I learned though. So. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh. Yeah. Next. Yeah. So, you ready for Halloween? Because we gotta start talking about that. Yo, they got pumpkin spice already out now in stores i see and um it's real i wanted i was gonna ask you 
Did you want some beer that I seen down there? But I had a reception, so I didn't have to. This shit was aggravating. Yeah. I swear on everything I like. So wait, so now I'm trying to figure out, right? So you know, like, my mother, I guess she got a house phone. She don't never answer. You call her cell phone, she answers, and she in the house. Mm -hmm. I, okay, I couldn't figure that one out. But she let me use her, house, her cell phone, and I was able to call my aunt. So I'm like, why my phone won't do it? You know my best friend gonna tell me? Because we don't go down here. Who said that? I said, so you trying to, her, her, she ain't had no service neither. Oh, uh, that's who said that? Yeah. Oh, I know your best friend. Mm -hmm. I know your best friend. Mm -hmm. Your best friend, they didn't play the part in my play. They didn't play. Yes, she did. Yeah, so I'm not going to say her name, but I am going to say that she played a part in my play, my stage play. And she said that? I got a problem with her. But you know we what? don't live down here. Yeah. What she think? Cause y'all got a different. It's place. like I said. So it's like if we go to Cancun or something, mm -hmm. we gotta let the service so know we're going to Virginia so they can connect us to Virginia line. Nah, or something. you should be able to get service. Service. When I had Verizon, I didn't get no service. You, you know, was able to no, do what's that? Hold up. nothing. You was able to do what's that? I did. Yeah, what's that? Was able. To no, do I did that when I was at the hotel. Uh, no, listen. I forgot what I was gonna say. So you need Wi-Fi. You could do Wi-Fi, no. but you can't do your your service. No, I ain't got Wi-Fi. So wait, I don't know what I was going to say. When I first went, I had Verizon. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, I got T-Mobile. Now it works, still don't work. Them motherfuckers got Metro PCS and got service. How? My son, man, my son went down there. He had Metro PCS. It worked. How the fuck Metro PCS work and not Verizon or T-Mobile? Maybe Metro PCS is like the country service for the country people. Oh, so maybe. Even though Virginia ain't really country. So maybe when I get... Country, country started in no, North no, Carolina. No, no, no. no, I'm serious. The country started in North Carolina. They are in the... It takes eight hours to get there. That's how you know they deep down the country. Yeah, yeah, they're at the bottom of Virginia. They're going into North Carolina. It's right where 85 and mm -hmm. 95 mm -hmm. split mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. 85 and 95 split. I had to get on Pole White Parkway. I didn't know what that oh, yeah, was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what that's it. Yeah. I know exactly what I said. So you know I'm, I had to go yeah. deep down, right? You just, you just like probably about 20 miles away from 85. Mm -hmm. And then you like went, and then you started going head mm -hmm. east after that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can have all that. Anytime you got to go on Fort that. White Parkway, mm -hmm. you can have it. Nope, I'm good. I, I, the weekend was good enough for me. I only, I can't do a week. I, I don't think I can make a week. A week? A week? That's it? I can't do a week. A no. weekend is I was only. Doing, I, was doing, I was doing years up in the mountains and everything. But country. you had fun out of it. You made fun out of it. I mean, yeah, you made fun out of it. No, but you had you friends. You milking cows. No, I'm not going Catching that. chickens. I, never, I, I want to go do that. Yeah. This year, I want to go milk a cow. I ain't catching That's no chickens. That's a bucket chicken. list? That's a bucket list? Yeah. I never milked a cow before. I want to do that. I want to ride a horse. I never milked a cow either. But I don't want to do Would it. Would you do it? No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to milk a cow. Why? I don't, <laughs> I don't care about Would milking a cow. I don't care about milking a cow. I never want to milk a cow. Ever. I don't want to catch a chicken. I don't want to get no eggs from under a chicken. My buddy, I do want to do that. A friend of mine, he, listen, a friend of mine's in Edison, New Jersey. He had chickens at his house. He had a chicken, uh, um, a, a chicken thing coop with and everything. Chicken coop. And he asked me, he said, hey, How do you my, know if it's going to be a real uh, egg that you can cook or a chicken that's going to be hatched? How do you, you know, know the difference? You got to get them out. You got to get them the day. As soon as they hatch them, you got to get them. If not. And then that's when it's regular eggs it's that regular you cook. Eggs. If you let them sit on them too long and anything, what they'll actually do, they'll either eat them or they'll hatch them. They'll like sit them until they get warm and they hatch them. They won't let you take them. But you have to take them the day. So they he, hatch he them. told you this because you don't know. Yeah, he told me this. So he, why don't we go and no, milk? no, we not going to do why? this because I'm not. Okay, well I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna start doing adventurous things. Do that. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go and milk a cow and I'm gonna have somebody. Maybe you can record me milking the cow. See how that works. I'll record you, but I'm not doing it. I don't it. think I want to drink it though. Drink it. No. Why? I want to try that's breast the, milk. That's the, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I want to try breast milk. I don't want to suck. I don't want to do it like that. I want, you know, somebody to pump it and let me try it. So let's get back in to the shot glass. glass. Let's just get in a shot glass. Yeah, shot. I don't want to drink a cup of milk. Let's get back to these, um, these Halloween outfits. So what are we going to be this year? What, what you think is the like? Why do women always? Why? Why do women? Because that's Halloween cute. Come, listen, why would Halloween come? Women always think that they're going to be like a a, a sexy maid. Or uh, they're going to be like, or they going to be a doctor or a nurse or something like that. That's, why always, that's only to be seductive. Yeah, but why do they always pull that? That's that's the same thing every year. I know. <laughs> but why? Do, <laughs> where you go? Where you go? Just now? Where you look at? I don't know. Who we going to be? Oh, I don't know. You said we going to be s'mores. Oh yeah. Well, we can't. We DJ. She not here. Mm -hmm. She ain't there. <laughs>
we can't be s'mores. We gotta find something else to be. She was you supposed to be the graham might, cracker. She, she was gonna be the chocolate, and I was gonna be the marshmallow. She might show up. And then we you still think she, you think she gonna show up? She gonna watch this. She gonna be like this, yo. They diss me. No, we ain't diss her. I'm dissing her. That's you, but I got faith. Mm. She be bad. She just had some some plans. She just had she had she had some things to do. But DJ, you could have came because if I came straight from off the road and came here, you could straight came. from VA. Literally, word. word. Literally. Hey man, we gotta give a shout out to my man. Um, my man Lyrics. He Ooh, got yeah. a, um Lyrics. You know Lyrics. Come to the shop, get your haircut. Lyrics. Maybe rapping and stuff. Well, oh. yeah, whatever. You know. Um, I'll show you the video. You when I when you see the video, you're gonna be like, oh, that's him. Man. He be spinning lyrics. Yeah. Well, then you might as well get. Well, you might as well give a shout out to Matt. He sings to me. No, Matt ain't got videos and stuff like that. I'm Don't do about, that. He sings to me. I know he do. I'm talking about lyrics. He lyric. I'm talking about lyrics and anything. Who um, he got um. He, so if you call him, will he answer? Yeah, we should call him, man. Cause you know, last time we had an episode, it didn't work. It didn't work right. Let me see if I see him before. Yeah, you know. Back to the shop, I ain't seen him in a long time. Yeah, he um, he's supposed to bring his boys, right? Yeah, he's um, come to the shop and everything. He um, come back now? No, he lived down in um, down South Jersey. Oh, so you got a video on him? He got a couple of videos, he got a couple of songs. So you still talking to him? Yeah, come here. What's up, man? We calling you from the podcast, man, from Disturbingly Random Podcast. Oh, what's good? Hey, what up, man? Me and Cook, you be sitting here, and she want to be in your next video. That's, that's not a problem at all. It's not a problem at all. Just bring a bottle of wine. You take that up. <laughs> I'm going to bring a bottle of wine and my girdle. She a bottle of wine and my girdle. <laughs> hey, man, we were just, we, I was just letting her see your video for finally here, and they think she, went, oh. she didn't remember you until I showed her the video, and she was like, oh, I remember him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Holla. How, tell me how I look. What you mean, how you look? I want to see if you remember me. She, she's saying you don't remember her. You used to be over there, I used to get the haircut. You used to be over there, you had your, I think your son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think your son. Okay, yeah. so when is the next video shoot? Uh, probably, uh, in a couple weeks. I got a song called You and Me, I'm about to shoot a video. See, you could be talking to me. You and me. You and me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, that's what's up, man. Yo, how the, so how the joint doing? Um, matter of fact, damn, you on your second single already, right? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I'm putting the finishing touches on my third one, too, this weekend. Yeah, that's what's up. Moves. That's what's yeah, up. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't wasting no time for these numbers. No yeah, no doubt. <laughs> that PC Freestyle, I like that joint with you and Matt Cleave. I like that. Yeah, appreciate that, appreciate that. Yeah, we, uh, he called me one day like, yo, we ain't getting nothing together in the finish. Over here with the beat right now, let's do it. So we went down to Delaware and recorded down. Uh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, it's good. It's so good I got a you. question. If I come to um, be in the video, you want to send a car service or I got to drive my car? Oh, no, you're fine. No, you're fine. I got to take time. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man, you ain't, you ain't industry yet because you're supposed to just told her what she wanted to hear. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I sure, sure, sure. I sure, sure. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna ask the question again. He's gonna re-edit it. Ready? <laughs> okay. You um, if I come down there, you gonna you gonna send for me? Or I got it out of my car. No, no, we send service. We send service. Call service. That's not a problem. Call service. Okay. <laughs> don't, even, yeah. don't even don't even call an Uber. Don't even call an Uber. Just say I'm gonna call service. Indeed. <laughs> You said door dash. He said, he said oh, he, oh, he asked you, you get something to eat on your way there. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. So how would how it feel being how it feel being back out there, man? Anything doing your thing? It feel good, man. You know, because the response is dope. You know what I mean? A lot of jokes be hitting me like that. Like, it feel it feel good. It feel real good. You know what I mean? That's what's keeping me motivated to keep working. You know what I mean? That's what's up. That's just up. But yeah, man, we wanted to touch base a little bit and everything. Um, I told you I want to have you on the show, though, soon, man. Looking forward. So, yeah, um, yeah. Want... What is that? Yeah, man. Yo, y'all doing, doing a good thing, man. Y'all had me rolling over here, man. I be cracking up, man. You know what I mean? That's what's up. Keep doing what y'all doing. I'm definitely a fan. I'm promoting myself. You know what I mean? That's what's yeah, up, man. Yeah, do that, do that, do that, do that. And you got, I, when I come down there, I'm going to bring you some, some, some shots by cookies. Yeah, that's that white henny. That's that yeah, white henny. Okay, I'll bring that since you're sending me in a car service. <laughs> hey. It don't even matter. Look at it. What is that? Black driver, white driver. It don't even matter. Gotta stay industry state. Matter of fact, Korean. Let me get a Korean one. I was going to say that, too. I got a Korean dude for you. Drop real fast, though. Real fast, well, as long as you don't, as long as you don't have me um, break the white henny, we good. We gotta get that. We gotta get that safe and sound. That's like a baby. You know, you can't even get that over in the states. So we gotta take care of that real smooth. Well, yo, man, hey, man, I ain't gonna hold you in anything. I just want to um, touch base with you and anything. Say what's up, let you know. And I was trying to connect the dots and anything, let her know exactly. No, we gonna we gonna keep it real. We wanted to see if he was gonna answer because we made a call last week and we got played out. Nobody didn't answer, so I said, <laughs> let's see if he's gonna answer us. <laughs> oh, somebody do love you. Everybody love you. Everybody, everybody love me. <laughs> <laughs> they just tolerate you. <laughs> but yo, Lurge, man, we're going to get at you, all right? All right, bro, y'all stay up. And, and, and let me know when I, in the video shoot so I can come down there. I can twerk a little bit. Well, that's what we need. I'm right behind you, like, twerk. Wait, I got to make sure my... I got to put my girdle on first, though. I got to put my girdle on. Yeah, don't, don't put it too tight. I don't want you to look like you're going to pass out. <laughs> 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 I will. I promise. I will. I'm All being right. green. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, man. All right, so you do know some people, huh? Yeah, I know a couple. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know a couple. See, DJ missed that one. Yeah, she did. Right. She know him. Um, yeah, she know. She missed out on that. DJ, you missed that. Oh, she not there. Yet. DJ, you gotta give her the elbow like she did. Yeah, man, she done messed up. Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, but it's good to be back. It is good to be back. I miss this. Yeah. Laughing, yeah. joking, yeah. having fun. Now we getting um, celebrities to come on. Yeah, yeah. We're doing big things. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, no doubt. Big, big things. Hey, man, it's, um, it's also good to see you laughing and see you happy. Yeah, yeah I like to laugh. Things. That's my thing. I like to laugh. He smiled. <laughs> It, it have fun. <laughs> so she acted it out. <laughs> I gotta act it out, right? Yeah, but it's 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 laughing is good for the soul. Yeah, I heard. I heard. I heard. You that. always laughing. I be laughing at people just because everybody's funny to me. What? Everybody, everybody's funny to me. You funny? Everybody's funny. I know I'm funny. I'm very funny. Yo, what's your go-to? Do you really like a guy? What's your, what's your go-to? Give like, an example. Like if you. If you really like a guy, what do you do for a guy who you really like as opposed to a guy who you don't? Or who you just like, eh, you just fucking up. That's funny. That's real funny. Because, ah, uh, let me see how I come up with this. It's crazy because the ones you like don't really be that into you and the ones that you don't like really be that into you. And so just, what is it that you do? For the guy that you bit, that you feel like, yo, you know what, I'm digging him. I'm going to do this right here. 
Which is real cute but sexy. So it's like you, everything sexy. So it's like it smells good. You put oh, so you go all out like how you. T- so you don't do that on a regular. Yeah, but not. But you go all the way, you match your palm, your bra panties. I do that all the time. So what is it that you do for the past? Oh, like? it's sexy, something tight, sexy. The girl will be right. The girl will be right. Holding everything in place, you know, trying to be cute. Mm-hmm. Lipstick on. I don't have lipstick on all the time. I don't do that. I don't have makeup on all the time. You know, my sister told me. She said, <laughs> "Yeah, my eyebrows was uh, naked." I said, "What do you mean?" She went and got a, you know how you get the shot right back? Mm-hmm. She had all this mascara in it. I'm laughing because. And she stood there and she did my eyebrows. She said, now we can take a picture because I wouldn't take a picture with you with your eyebrows looking like that. Because you ain't got none. She's, she's certified. I love her though. Yo, hold up. Hold up. Mm-hmm. So, you said you wear lipstick and everything. Did you just, just put on lipstick one day? Cause I can't imagine you with lipstick. I had some lipstick on the shows before. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I had some eyelash, not eyelashes, but yeah, I had eyelashes on one time. They came over right after the show. Eyes. Yeah, these my eyes. Uh huh. I know people be don't be knowing that your eyes is like. You like can't that. you tell contacts from real eyes? I can't. I don't look nobody in their eyes like that. I'd be like this. I'm be looking at nobody in their eyes. Um. No, these are my eyes. Okay. They can turn colors too. All right, you're doing too much. No, I'm serious. Man, you're going too far. I'm serious. Why would why would your natural eyes turn colors? You never seen nobody eyes turn colors? Yeah, my pops. Okay, so then why but mine can't one, turn colors? Just one of them. Hmm? Only one of them. One, hmm. of, one of my father's eyes turn well, colors. Well, why only one? I don't know. That nigga crazy. Did you ask him? I don't ask him nothing. I'm scared of him. You ain't scared of your father. Still to this day. Mm-hmm. Now, when you tell him you ain't scared of him. All my life, I've been crying all my life. Yeah, no, I'm serious. I'm scared of my father all my life. Why? He never beat you. Yeah, he did. What you do? Um, I asked him, uh, can I go to the variety show? And they think the what? it was a, like a variety show up at the school. What kind of variety <laughs> show? <laughs> it was you know, a variety, variety show. Everybody got on stage and do different things. And mm-hmm. I said yeah, it was going to cost like $4 to get in or something like that. And I had the $4. So I asked I go to the variety show. It was on like a Saturday. And, you know, um, me and my friends, we was going to go. You was going to perform? No, I was going to the show to watch. Mm-hmm. Everybody was going in the neighborhood. So I was going to go to the show. Um, we watch him call it. We, um, you know, so my friends was downstairs and you know, in the hallway waiting for me in the house. And I went upstairs. And they said no. And they think so. Him and my mother was upstairs in the bed. It was like Saturday afternoon. It was like four o'clock, five o'clock. Yeah, getting busy. Probably because you know. You interrupted. Yeah. And so he was like, "No, get out." And I said, "No, you know, you ain't going to ride the show." So I slammed the bed, the bedroom door, and I was about to go downstairs because I was mad. I was gonna stop my feet. I didn't even get two steps down. He came no, out he came out the with, the tight, with the tight white dun duns Who knew anything? Because that's what they wore back then. Underwear. <laughs> and your friends was downstairs. They, downstairs. Yo, they he, saw him in his tighty whitey. They, they saw him before I saw him because I was two steps down, about to stomp down the third step. And he just grabbed me, brought me up, was like, bah, 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 just gave it to me. In front of your friends? In front of my friends. I ain't even go down there and let them out. <laughs> they let themselves out. I just went straight to my room. <laughs> you know, you see your friends the next day with this. They, they say, never said it. <laughs> I don't thing. remember them laughing about the joke. They, they, they better not have, right? I had to fight my friends back Because if they would have laughed at you, it would have been real. We'd have to fight. So then ever since then, you are scared of your dad? Uh, I'm scared of my dad before that. I've been scared of him. Why? Because he grabbed me up when I was three years old, four years old, too. What did you do? I only got like two weapons by my father my whole life. That was one of them. And you were scared? Hell you scared of him yeah. since then? Hell yeah. And you were scared of your mother? She whooped my behind so much that I it was just normal. <laughs> it was everything they did. But when your father was... My mother used to grab me by my hair. I had a big afro. She grabbed me by my hair. You ever be in your kids? Mm, once. Twice. Maybe once or twice. Did, did they scare you? No. I think they scared me in anything in a sense. like The way you talk. Yeah. And your demeanor you. when you come out and you ask questions. Tell me when they hear this shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Probably on that order. And anything. But my kids, they, I guess they... I think they know. But I, you know, I get it in. Oh, they know. They know. Oh, they know. They know when to talk to you, when not to talk to you. Yeah. Cause that mouth be off the hook. Did they ever come to you about relationship? Nah, my 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 youngest daughter. My youngest daughter. She did. That's the one that looked just like you. Yeah, she did. She talked to me about stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean? but Can you give advice? Yeah, give advice. I'm straight up though. Do you ever meet any? Yeah. Do you? You know how like um what was the bad boys? How Martin and Will did? No, nah, I don't do all that. Oh. I don't want to do all that. I want them to feel comfortable with me so that you know, I can know how to find them later. 
Mm -hmm. I want them to be comfortable. What you mean find them later? If they do something wrong, I know how to find I can't find you if you ain't comfortable with me. You just gonna hide. If you're comfortable with me, then I know how to find you. Because you're gonna be telling me anyway. You're gonna always be friends with me. I'll be right here. Uh -huh. I'll be like, I'm gonna be right there too. <laughs> you they don't know literally you're gonna be right there. Yeah. So. You ain't have to go after none of them, did you? Well, yeah, one of them, my youngest daughter's boyfriend once, something, once upon a time. Another story. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, oh, you know, okay. his neck felt it. <laughs> um, I'm, I wouldn't want to have to be mad. His neck felt it. I could, I could imagine. I yeah. could imagine. But, yo, um, damn, I think it's time to put the, put the Why show. Why wouldn't you have fun? They always got to end. Because, man, that's how this thing go, man. You know what I mean? That's life. So, I mean, get what's, the, it, how, what's the longest you could do? Like... A uh, half an hour, hour, two hours. The last show is an hour. Whole day. The last show is an hour. How many? So when people do podcasts, how long do they be on it for? As long as they want to be on. So as long as you know you got something to talk about, you stay on it. Hmm. You know what I mean? Hmm. That's interesting. Cause I think I'll be all over the place. That's what's up. That's what people want to know. They want to see that. They want to see all over the place. Cause I do. I really do. As long as something to talk about. So I'm excited. I'm about to be in a video. I might, I might blow up for real. I'm gonna let you hear that song too. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna play that song. Um, I'm gonna play the song that you're gonna that he wants you to do the video for. I'm gonna play. But the how video do you know? Because I'm always in on the songs. I'm always in, I'm always in on. Also, oh, then I know how I gotta move. Yeah, I don't play which one. Matter of fact, at the end of, at the end of this video, at the end of this um this podcast, that's what we're gonna play. That's how we're gonna close the video. Up. And then you like, she do. Yeah. See, I ain't got no red lipstick on today. You are gonna have some on that day though. Yo, we out, man. I'm gonna man. tell you what I'm having on that day. You gonna have it on. What well, for the video shoot? Yeah, and you gonna have on. And, and remember how you said how I said what you what's your go to? You gonna have on your go to outfit. <laughs> it's a good smell of perfume. It's a good smell of perfume. So wait, I'm wondering, do you have people on stuff to do your hair stuff, or I gotta come? I don't know what you, you say. Have well, on you say you going to the car <laughs> shoot. That was industry talk. Industry talk. Yo, we out, man. Yo, another episode, disturbingly random. Hey, yo, shout out to um, all DJ the listeners. DJ, who didn't come today. Yeah, that's a, that's a shot right there when you say shout out to somebody who ain't show up. That's a shot. That's, that's but, um, no, only you think it's a that's, shot. That's shade. That shade. Main right shade. Out. Main shade. Oh, okay. Well, when I say the shade, shout out to DJ. Well, we know you You always doing shade. You shout throw out, shade. Shout out to DJ. Oh, that is real yeah. shade. Um. Anyway. You yo, know she's going to come back and be in rare form, right? Yeah, no doubt. Yo, we out. Um. It's really random, episode two, season two. Um, God, I'm tired. Why are you um, tired? I don't know. Sunday. Do do? Hey, guess what? That's the end of the episode. Tell me after this. No, I am want to do it on the episode. Your birthday coming up. It is. It is September 3rd. Oh, uh, we got to do big things. Yeah, yeah we ain't going to ask you because you might not want to tell us. I don't give a damn. I'll be 48. For real? Mm-hmm. You're lying. I'll be 48. Who are we going to do? I'll be done. When I turn 50, I'm done with all of this. I'm not doing no more of this. What you mean? I'm not doing, I'm not doing any of this. What you mean? No more podcast? I ain't talking to nobody. I'm not doing nothing. Oh, then I'm going to be famous by him. Exactly. Get it That's all right. Because you know why? No, because you you'd be security for me. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Oh, here you are. I'm Don't watching, tell me what you're not going to do. I watch football and everything. Don't tell me what you're not going to do. Okay. Yo, I'm Don't out. Tell me what right you're right not now, gonna I'm about to tell you about to be out of this show. Well, we can be out right now, but trust me. You see me? You're going to see him. Yo, we out, man. Um, Do it again next week. Um, we had fun. Yeah. Hopefully you did. Miss Cookie. Bro. DJ. She'll be back. She just... She ain't nothing. We out. Okay. Look. Met it out in Couple drinks. Higgin' them a call. Was chillin' with some older folks Kinda chilly, help you button up your overcoat